What's up, you guys? It's Avery here. Wanted to bring you guys a video real quick. I know I probably look like death, <laughs> but I want to talk to you guys real quick and ask the question Are you guys ready for link format? <laughs> I've seen a couple of videos today uh, from Simo and uh, MCO40 talking about link format, how it's just around the corner. Uh, it comes out this Friday, and as of me recording today, it is the 17th of July, so Monday. Um, so we just have a few more days until it's released. I want to ask you guys, you know, are you guys ready? Um, I, for one, have been very excited about link format. I'm just opening up Dev Pro here, so don't mind me. But I've been really excited for it. Um, I've been testing with the format. I've been kind of just tinkering with things and seeing how things work. Um, I haven't been doing it a lot lately just because the game hasn't really been intriguing to me. Um, I've been playing things like Bamboo Skip so that my opponent can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! And of course you guys know that I've been playing Trickstar OTK um, and all of that other fun stuff. Let me just see real quick if they've added in Deco Talker. No, they haven't added in any links yet. That's quite a shame. Um, but a lot of people are, I guess, half and half on this. You know, you have the one party who says that link format is absolutely terrible and quitting the game because of it, which if you're quitting the game because of it, I think that's just kind of ridiculous because we don't even have the mechanic here yet. You know, at least give the mechanic time to evolve and see where it goes. You know, I, I personally feel from a player and a, and a YouTuber standpoint, I feel that this is a very great opportunity for my channel to really pop. Um, and I also feel from a player standpoint that this is really a great opportunity for me to become a much better player. Um, even when Pendulum Summoning came out, I just saw it as another way to get better as a player. You know, you should try, just as a player perspective, you should always try to look at things from a glass half full perspective. You shouldn't, you know, go into link format thinking that, you know, oh, this is going to be the worst thing ever, I can't Pendulum Summon 5, meh. Like, <laughs> Pendulum Summoning 5 wasn't exactly the most healthiest thing, and if you thought it was healthy, you are really missing out on a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! fam. Like, you must be pretty new to the game, because being able to Pendulum Summon 5 from the extra deck is just absolute trash. <laughs> so, there's that. Um, but I think just kind of looking back on the Pendulum era as a whole, um, yes, I am going to be playing with this pen for the whole video, um, I think looking back on the Pendulum era as a whole has definitely been interesting to kind of see how it's evolved. Um, same thing with Synchro Summoning and Xyz, I'm just seeing how that's all, all evolved over time. And I think we're going to see the same thing happen with uh, Link Summoning. Um, I think that there's definitely a, a, still a few kinks to be worked out in the mechanic itself. Like, for example, the whole um, full link thing where you can, like, there's an extra monster zone here, and then there's one here, and you're able to take both. I'm, I'm thinking that eventually at some point we're going to see either an archetype or a deck build or something take advantage of that. And we're going to see basically games come down to can you lock me out of my extra deck by link summoning out a full board if yes game two if not then let's play <laughs> like that's just kind of how this game has evolved over time you know we saw that with pendulum summoning and even now with zodiac can you break my board no game two can you stop my combos do you have the ghost dash no game two can i break your board let's play this game out <laughs> so I do think that we will see that at a point. I don't think that that's going to necessarily be the format coming out of the gate. I, but at the same time, our how do I describe this? Our format is still going to be the same. Zodiac will just have to play a little bit differently. But you can still end on Hammer Kong and Dryden. Even Simo made that point. So. Until we get a new ban list, I don't really think much is going to change. So for you guys that are kind of complaining about it, I don't really see why you are. Because you can still do your stupid plays. And I mean, if that's why you're bitching and complaining, then okay, more power to you. But if you're bitching and complaining because you can't pop off with Zodiac, you can still pop off with Zodiac. Like, I don't see what your issue is. So at the end of the day, I think we just need to give this a chance. I think that we need to just 
really watch how it evolves. I think link summoning has a good chance to succeed if we give it time and give it a chance to succeed. Um, like how I made my video yesterday with Dave Nader 1212 saying, does Konami of TCG hate link summoning? They don't hate link summoning. What Konami cares about is the dollar sign. And if this is going to make them money, by God, they will care about it, even if it like burns their company into the ground. <laughs> so, and we obviously saw with Pendulum Summoning that they screwed up, and that's why they moved them to the Spell and Trap Zone, where they should have been before. And that's interesting to think about, too. And I know that I was just kind of asking you guys if you're ready for Link Summoning, but this kind of encompasses everything about Link Summoning. Um, it's interesting to think that what would have happened in the two to three years that we had Pendulums if they were in the Spell and Trap Zone the whole time? Hmm. Something to think about. <laughs> Uh, makes you wonder if Cleave Forts would have been the tier 1 deck that they would have been. Because not only were they able to set up back rows with like Sacrifice and all that fun stuff, but then they also had their Pendulum Zones. And that's no longer a thing. <laughs> so, it makes you wonder how things would have played out. Would Metal Foes have been as good as they were when, the, when ABC and Metal Foe were tier 1 before we got Zodiac? So, I don't know. It's just something interesting. I still think that I don't know. I, I still feel like that this is a good change. I feel like Link Summoning is definitely going to be interesting, and I think for me personally, I definitely take it as a challenge to improve as a player and to help my channel grow even more. Um, because I've kind of been growing and then not really growing, and it's been weird. So. I feel that with Link Summoning, not only will we get a bunch of new players into the game watching YouTube videos and whatever, I feel that we will also just see more growth in the community as a whole. There's, there's going to be people that leave. That's just a, a given fact. People don't want to deal with Link Summoning, and that's okay. But I still think overall you should give it a chance, but that's whatever. We're going to have more new influx of players come in. You know, that they're like M. Cole 40 said a long time ago, you don't quit Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh quits you. <laughs> and and that that's very true. If you're quitting because of a game mechanic, that's because Yu-Gi-Oh is quitting you, fam. <laughs> like I'm I'm not trying to be a jerk, I just that's the way that I see it. Um, you can take a break. By all means, take a break. That's what I've been doing. I sold Zodiac, and I haven't played in a regional since. <laughs> and this was back when barrages were like, um, I bought mine for 99 a piece, and then after the emergency balance came out where Rapier went to 2, I had a regional that weekend, like the week before that, the balance dropped, so I had one week to fix my deck. I went X3, barely missed my invite, and then I sold the deck uh, for under what I paid for but I was able to recoup my money by working my job and all that fun stuff. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even going to get into that. Um, but the point is, I made the money back and then some. So, I know that this is kind of a bit of a rambling video, but I kind of just wanted to talk to you guys about Link Format and just my whole thoughts on everything. Um, even though I don't seem all that excited, but that's just because of the fact that I'm super tired. I'm going to bed after I make this video. It's, it's almost 11 o'clock at night. One minute till 11. <laughs> um, and it's been a long work day. So, if you guys are excited for Link Format, let me know in the comments below. Because I want to get y'all's feels on it. And is there anything specific that you want to see in Link Format? I plan on doing some combo videos. I plan on doing a IRL deck profile at Trickstar OTK, even though I've already showed that on the channel before. I still want to show it with the IRL cards. I already have it proxied and everything. So, I, I know the deck inside and out. I can play it with the best of them. If not, I am the best, like no one ever was, because to catch them is my real test. Oh my god. I'm, I'm excited for Trick Stars too. Like, I'm excited for Code of the Duelist. I'm excited for a lot of this. Um, however, I did find out that Yu-Gi-Oh! Day is garbage. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Day is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. I didn't realize how stupid it was until um, a locals in my area is doing a Yu-Gi-Oh! Day, and it's a $10 entry fee. You get the Link Strike starter deck, but then everybody has to play with that stupid ass starter deck. I'm like, really? Like, I'm gonna go and attack for game, and just because they're playing the starter deck, I'm gonna get battle fadered? Like, bruh, I, I don't want to play that crap. The the stupid ass mat's not worth it. I can go and buy the mat on eBay. Um, so let me know what you guys think about that too. Do you guys have a Yu-Gi-Oh day in your area coming up uh, July 22nd? Let me know. Let me know all that more in the comments below. Be sure to hit that notification bell. 
um, so that you guys can stay up to date on what I post. YouTube is actually down this morning, so be, be sure to definitely hit that bell so that you can at least still get emails whenever I post and stuff. So that, you know, if YouTube does shut down like it did this morning, um, you guys will be let known of what's going on. It was really weird, like the app wasn't working, the app said I had zero subscribers, it was it was weird. Anyway, I'm going to bed now, I've rambled all long enough, let me know what you guys think about Link Summoning, all that and more, uh, love you guys a long time, peace out. <laughs> Can't believe I just died at the end of my video, dear god.